Okay, so I wanted to give everyone an update. I'm just past the one year mark for my operation on my right Achilles. Um, this summer has been great and I've been keeping pretty busy exercising outside, um, really just trying to challenge my Achilles and getting active again. Um, I started boxing at around month 11 um, with, and just after the one year mark, I played my first game of five on five uh, full court basketball. Um, I don't have a clip of me actually playing, but I have clips of you know me at the gym, and I have some clips of me kind of just like, I guess like practicing outside and things like that. So I'll be able to show you guys uh, right after this. Um, so just some positive news um, that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. I would say that for those of you that are just starting out through this recovery journey or the ones that are you know further along as well, just to know that this is my second recovery. Um, and I would say that I'm probably at about 90, 90 to 92% strength back in my right Achilles. Um, so that's great and I can still feel that there's lots of room for improvement. So there's still things that I do when I'm challenging it that I feel that it's sore. So I know that it's just gonna get stronger if I let it heal up. Um, so there's still times where I feel like it still needs to be pushed a little bit more. Um, so I'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, but overall, since my last video till now, and it's a little bit longer of a gap, I think three months, maybe even three and a half months, the progress for me has been very, very linear. So I mean, um, my strength and like my stamina and what you guys saw in the last video compared to what I'm gonna show you now, um, the difference in that time, I think like, you know, every week, every month, it just slowly got stronger and stronger and stronger. But I did make sure that I was constantly challenging myself um, so I did stay pretty active, you know, for the last three months. So that's something to consider as well. Um, if you're not kind of staying as active or you're keeping some gaps between different weeks as you're recovering, just know that it's not going to necessarily get stronger in that time. You know, it, it may heal and may get a bit more range of motion if you're walking around, but, um, you know, you're not necessarily going to get much stronger unless you're trying to challenge it. So. Um, one thing to talk about as well is when I started boxing around month 11, um, I can skip and I still had some stamina, but I could still tell that like um, my left leg or my left Achilles had much more stamina um, just being able to skip, you know, after skipping probably even as short as like a minute or two minutes, my right one started feeling sore and, you know, probably after a month of like boxing and, and skipping. It's probably caught up to my left one now in terms of how long I can skip on it for, even on one leg without it feeling like it's kind of topping after a while on like a flat tire, it just doesn't have as much bounce. So it's getting there. Um, so back to the video. In this video, I'm gonna start by showing you my current range of motion and strength. Um, then I'm gonna show you clips of me exercising so you guys can get an idea of um, what I'm able to do again at this point. Um, and you know, I think I encourage you guys to start visualizing the sport or activity or things that you want to be doing once you're healed up as well. And I think that always just gives you a goal um, and something like a positive mind state to be able to keep chasing that goal, to keep that um, in your mindset. Um, for me, I, I think without something like that, like me wanting to play basketball again or playing these different sports, I feel like my motivation to get better or stronger or to keep challenging it will kind of slip. And then, especially, you know, in this kind of range between month 10, 11, and 12, um, you're gonna have most functionality in your leg back from walking, even like light jogging. So in everyday life, you're not even gonna notice it anymore. Um, so sometimes that can be a problem that for some people, you know, that could be fine and that's all they need. Um, but if you really wanna get back to sports, I encourage you to keep challenging it. If you forget to challenge it and you kind of just like slack off for a few weeks, even a month, you're just gonna be that far behind when you want to um, get after it again. Um, so I think that's about it for me talking in front of you like this. I'm gonna show you some clips um, of my range of motion, things like that now. All right. Okay, so you can see both of my Achilles here. My left one was my old surgery and my right one is most recent one. Um, still a lot of scar tissue on the left one compared to the right one. Um, here's one leg of calf raises. So my right one's feeling pretty good. You know, I would say it's about 90% recovered. Um, stamina still needs to be a bit more, maybe 85% stamina, 90% strength. 
and the left one I'd say is about 95 stamina and strength from before I injured it. Now here's some uh, knee over toe kind of stretches to show you my range of motion. Um, right at the wall, I can touch the uh, wall really easily, no problem. Give it a little bit more distance, still no problem. So now I'm gonna measure my hand width. And I can touch the wall without my heel coming off. That's good. And I'll show you my other side. And in fact, this side actually feels tighter. Um, and I think it's because I haven't really taken the time to really stretch as much as I should. I've been doing physio and exercise at home by myself, my right one, but my left one, um, you know, I don't, I don't always work at the same amount. And it does feel like it's a little bit tight, so I think I need to stretch both of them out. Now I take just a little bit for step further back, and you can see on both legs, I'm not able to touch the wall. So that's my current limit. Um, I definitely think that if you put in more work than I did in terms of these knee over toe stretches, and, and um, you could go a bit further. Here is a um, kind of like a wedge that I use and I learned this from my physiotherapist and uh, it's really good to work on these knee over toe exercises. You just put the wedge just with your big toe um, on top of it and then you just do the same knee over toe stretches and it allows you to get a much deeper stretch and I find that this really helps. Um, and the reason you just put your big toe over it is I don't really know, you might want to look that up, but don't put your whole foot over on top, just put your big toe, kind of that bone. It helps to stretch out your feet and allows you to kind of push your knees towards your big toes, act activate your glutes. So back to my living room, um, just give you a sense of where I am right now with the downward dog. So with my legs straight and trying to keep my shoulders straight as possible, you can see my heels are really far off the ground still. Um, so I still need to work through that. Uh, you can see me here just kind of pedaling it out a bit. This is a common yoga move and um, something I encourage you guys to, to kind of do. Don't do it right away. Um, this is something that, you know, it's kind of like an Achilles calf stretch, so it is more dangerous. I'd say do the knee over toes for a while until maybe month, you know, seven, eight, nine, then you can maybe slowly get into yoga. Here's me doing some squats. You can see my ankle range of motion is kind of lacking when I do this, and you can see my back is curving um, and I'm not able to get really deep so without the counterweight you can see that it's I can't I can definitely not get very very far as far as I want to and if my heels come off the ground I can get deeper so that's kind of like weightlifting shoes so starting out we have a clip of me skipping so if you can compare this to the last video you can tell that like my skips here are just much more even and uh, much more controlled. I think my last video, I'm not sure if I found a better clip, but Ow! I just dropped my phone. Checking if I broke my phone to film this video. Not too sure, checking it again. Oh God. Here's a clip of me just jogging. Um, I'm gonna just jog first and then I'll, I'll kind of pick up the pace a little bit. I think, um, you know, I think my sprinting speed is still not, you know, fully recovered yet. I think I'm still kind of babying it just a little bit, but you can see um, it's still, still pretty good. Next, just, you know, a couple, couple jumps here so you can get a sense of like how it feels. It feels pretty good on both sides. And now the good part, we're off to the basketball court. So finally we can kind of do some more moves, um, just practice and just get the feel for it and let the Achilles get used to everything again. I played some basketball in my last video, but that was mostly just kind of shooting around. I didn't really do as much or do much more after that. Just warming up here, practicing some moves. And this is kind of a dangerous move to see how I'm stepping back and loading it. Um, this kind of hesitation moves how I ruptured my, my right Achilles. So to be able to do that, not at game speed, but to be able to do that again, feels really good. And here, uh, someone wants to do some shooting drills with me. Lastly, here's a short clip of me just boxing. Um, you know, as far as boxing goes, after about a month of it, everything feels really good. I feel bouncy on my feet. Um, 
I don't feel like there's a flat tire or anything like that. So it feels great. Okay, so I think that's about it for the one year update. Um, you can see I'm back to being able to do pretty much all the activities I'm doing. Um, and it feels really good. So to everyone out there that's still going through it, let me know if you have any questions. You know, keep your head up, stay motivated. Definitely like challenge your Achilles whenever you can. Don't take it too far. Let it rest and then repeat. And then before you know it, you're going to be back on your feet, you know, doing whatever sport and things that you want to be doing again. All right. So good luck with the recovery and I'll see you guys in the next video.